Good morning. It's a new day. The Lord has woken us up. That means there's more for us to do. So it's time to rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. It is great to be with you this morning. So uh, today, I want to share with you some thoughts that I came across in a devotional reading um, entitled, Have You Lost Your Jesus? That sounds kind of silly to think about, doesn't it? We lose our phones, we lose our keys, can't find our glasses, can't find our wallet, um, all kinds of things. I lost one of my hearing aids at Gatorland. We lose things. Then we got those little devices called a find me's, you know, you hook it to something and you can find it with your phone or what have you. But sometimes in life we feel like that we've lost our Jesus. Just don't feel, feel right. Charles Spurgeon once said, tell me where you lost the company of Christ and I will tell you the most likely place to find him. When I lose my awareness of Jesus in my life, I can often figure out where I lost it. By looking at my calendar first. <laughs> Almost without fail, the day and the days after were incredibly busy. Busyness is the enemy of intimacy, and God wants nothing more to be intimate with us for us to know Him. When I'm busy, I tend to leave Jesus behind and I lose that intimacy that He so wants with us. Sometimes it's sin. That conversation when you intentionally spun the truth into a lie, that might be the place where you left Jesus behind. One subtle way is losing our Jesus is to forget about the scripture. Sometimes when I feel like I've lost my Jesus, I'll go back to where I was doing my Bible reading plan and pick up where I left off. I start reading and then before you know it, I'm aware of his presence again. There are times when God just goes silent, though. Times when you lose your Jesus through no fault of your own, and occasionally he just decides to be silent for a while, really to draw you closer to him. He goes stealth. He leaves you unaware of his presence. Keep seeking. I learned through these desert times to cling to my faith no matter what, to trust him even when... He's silent. I tell him repeatedly, I, I love you, Lord. I love you, my Abba, my Father. I, 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 I trust you. And when his purpose is served, he comes back again and says, Oh, I love you too, child. I love you, John. Man, <laughs> it's crazy, right? And it's nice when we get that reconnection back. Maybe the most important thing to know is that even when you lose your Jesus, whether through busyness, neglect, sin, silence, Jesus never loses you. Amen. Look at Hebrews 13, 5 through 6. Keep your life free from the love of money and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we can confidently say the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do? do to me. And back in Deuteronomy 31, 6 through 8, be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Then Moses summoned Joshua and said to him in the sight of all Israel, be strong and courageous, for you shall go with this people into the land that the Lord has sworn to their fathers to give them. You shall put them into possession of it, and it is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear. Don't be dismayed. So when you realize you've lost your Jesus, turn around quickly. <laughs> the further you go from the place you left him, the harder it is to go back. As soon as you realize he's missing, turn your attention towards him. Why? because you need him. Without him, you're exposed. You're like a sheep without a shepherd. You're 
human conscience isn't as dependable as the Holy Spirit. You can't do it on your own. You'll lie to yourself and try to get away with it, and that's no good. When you lie to God, you know it's almost instantly because the Holy Spirit brings to you, it to your heart's attention. You are up against the stone wall, a holy wall of God's truth. If you've ever experienced his presence, his warm comfort, his love and affection, you feel lost without it. If you lost your Jesus, seek him with your whole heart. Examine yourself, confess, repent, straighten things out. Again, often we lose our Jesus after a tirade of anger against someone. If that's the case, go ask for forgiveness. Sometimes we lose our Jesus by telling a lie or making a selfish decision or deceiving someone. Go to that person you've hurt and make it right. Whatever he leads you to do, surrender it to his will. Humble yourself and do what you can to fix it. Do you want to know how to keep from losing Jesus next time? <laughs> fall more in love with him. Make him so preeminent in your life that you can't ever forget about him. Oh, Father, thank you for sticking closer than a brother. And for the knowledge that even when you're silent, oh, Lord, you're still there. You're not still. Oh, Lord, we need you. Every hour we need you. Please make us aware of your presence that I can't, that we can't leave you out, not even for one hour of our day. Amen. Have you lost your Jesus? Well, no, he's still there. Just turn around and get to know him more. Let's pray. Father, we love you. We thank you for this morning, this time together. We thank you for your word. Oh, Lord, help us during those times where we feel lost and distraught. Lord, we have gone our own way and drifted from you. Lord, we, we think we've lost you, Lord. Please forgive us. Thank you we have forgiveness through your Son. And Father, may we just turn around and fall back into your warm embrace. And Lord, to get more closer to you, to know you more, to draw more intimate with you each and every day. Lord, may we go forth today with your spirit leading us and guiding us. May we go and be your light to the world around us, be your hands and your feet to those who come across our path. May we see this world through your eyes. We love you, Lord. We thank you. We pray all these things through Jesus Christ, our Lord, and all God's children said, amen. Folks, have a blessed day and coffee on.